Excel accounting practice problem. Adjusting entry related to accounts receivable, sales, revenue, or income. Get ready, because we're about to Excel. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. Prior presentations, we put together the worksheet from a blank sheet. Now continuing to enter transactions into it. If you have access to it, there's two tabs down below. An example tab and a practice tab. Practice tab starting out where we left off last time. The example tab in essence being an answer key. Let's take a look at it now. We're looking at an adjusting entry related to the sales item. And it will be tied to typically the accounts receivable as well. So we're usually, when we're thinking about sales, we're thinking about the cutoff. In this case, we're thinking about are there items that have been entered, but entered in the incorrect period. Specifically here, we're looking at invoices that possibly were entered after the cutoff date. In other words, after February 28th, the end of the month we're working on and in March, but for which the work was actually done in the current month and therefore on an accrual basis should be entered in the system in this month. Now you can imagine this from a normal like work process. It's easy to think about how this could happen, especially with a job cost type of system. It could happen in a database program, for example.